Hello everyone. Welcome back. In this session, I am going to explain about the working of solar power plant. Here, before going to uh, taking this uh, solar power plant, that is a power generation by using the solar power. We should know the brief about the solar power first and later we will discuss about the solar power plant. The solar power means it is a sun's radiation energy. What we are going to receive on the earth's surface? At the earth's surface about the 1371 watt per meter square energy we are going to receive. And this energy is about more than 10 times the whatever the requirement of the power is there on the earth. But on whole earth we are not going to uh, use the solar energy. And whatever the available area for the uh, this harnessing of the solar energy that is about the more than 4 to 5 times the that whatever the requirement of uh, energy is there, power is there on the earth surface. That's why the solar energy has an importance and for this we are going to discuss the whatever the working of the solar power plant is there and also we will discuss about the solar energy. The solar energy conversion whatever is there, suns from the sun's earth surface, the solar radiation what comes in the form of a rays or in the form of photons that may be called as a radiation in the form of electromagnetic waves or in the form of photons the energy will be falls on the surface what we feel heat what we feel light that is the solar energy then solar photo there here there are two methods to uh, there is a conversion of the solar energy that is a solar power into the energy that is the one method is solar photovoltaic PV plant and another one is called as a solar thermal power plant. Continue watch till the end. I am going to explain about these two power plants and also I am going to explain what are the advantages associated with this very important source of a renewable energy solar power plant and what are the disadvantages associated with this also. Okay, firstly, I will take that is there are two methods that is the one I told that is solar photovoltaic power plant. The solar photovoltaic power plant means here we are going to use the solar photovoltaic cells. These are called as a solar photovoltaic cells. This consists of a semiconductor silicon materials. And these semiconductor silicon materials, that is one layer is called as a N type, N layer or a N type layer. Another one is we are going to call as a P type layer. And these are separated by the junction. And first, this working of the solar uh, photovoltaic cell, we will take the, discuss that one. Later, we will go for the solar power plant by using this uh, solar PV cells. This is a solar PV cell. As I told you, this, uh, it consists of the number of uh, that uh, solar uh, cells. And in this one, the one layer consists of a N-type silicon. Another layer consists of the P type silicon, which is separated by the junction. And here, whatever this uh, N-type junction is there, whenever it receives the sunlight, it releases the electrons. It releases the electrons. Then whatever this electrons releases, and this will be flow to the this P-junction. When we connect the, this N-type, the whatever the junction is there, and P-type, whatever the material is, the silicon material, then the electricity flows in the circuit. The electricity flows in the circuit and that can be directly used for the application or it can be stored in the batteries. How this is the solar cell works that one and also about the 0.5 volt of the energy that releases by uh, one cell and depending upon the whatever the power requirement is there okay we are going to use the this whatever the solar photovoltaic cells numbers okay this is about the how the solar photovoltaic cell works and in the solar power plant which using the solar photovoltaic cell it consists of the PV arrays the photovoltaic arrays the number of photovoltaic cell rows are used and these are interconnected with each other and here about this whatever the power generating that is electricity generating from these uh, circuit those are connected to the this whatever the uh, inverter charge controller and battery bank. This to the battery bank and the charge connector it will be uh, connected and later that will be connected to the grid 
where the power supply is there from that it will be the uh, whatever the transformer is used for the conversion of that voltage and the current and later that is by using the transmission tower lines that will be supplied to the where the power required is there in the domestic application and the industry applications that will be there so and the students can use the simple this line diagram here the same will be there here the photovoltaic uh, pv arrays and that will be connected to the battery option or inverter directly it will be converted dc to ac and the meter and fuse or the whatever the fuse box are these are used and that will be connected to a grid and that can be used for the direct domestic applications so like this the working will be taking place in the solar photovoltaic thermo uh, photovoltaic power plant and another one is there that i told you that one how the working this solar power plant is there that we'll explain and next we'll go for the solar thermal power plant here solar power plant is also known as the photovoltaic pv power plant it's a large scale pv power plant designed to produce bulk electrical power from the solar radiation okay bulk electricity we again produce that one up to that is a 5 megawatt 10 megawatt up to 50 megawatt power also can generate by using the solar photovoltaic, photovoltaic power plants the solar power plant uses solar energy to produce the electrical power that uses the solar energy to produce the electrical power solar energy can be used directly to produce electrical energy using pv panels hence directly we can use that one here this is the main advantage of this pv panels directly it will generate the electricity Hence, to produce the electrical power on large scale, solar PV panels are used. This power plant consists of that is a photovoltaic PV panel, inverter, energy storage devices, charge controller, and system balancing component. These are uh, consist in the solar power plant which uses the photovoltaic cells. Next, another one here th solar thermal power plant that we will call as solar thermal power plant means the heat energy from the sunrise what is there that heat energy we are going to utilize for the power generation how we are going to generate in the thermal power stations like that that's why it is called as a solar power plant in the solar power plant the water whatever is there that is heated by using the that is a solar pond or solar whatever the is uh, concentrated collectors are there okay in that how we are going to heat the water in the domestic water heating for the bathing purpose same way we are going to heat the water here and here also the solar pond there are two methods are the one is solar pond and the one is solar collectors okay that we can use that one in the solar pond it's a large pond it is a salty water a large pond that receives the solar energy and collects in it thereby that will be get heated up to 60 to 70 degrees Celsius temperature after receiving the sun rays it will be get heated and that water is supplied here in the evaporator or boiler means it, the water is used in the primary circuit to transfer the heat and in the heat exchanger the whatever this uh, heat contained in the water is there that is transferred to the another fluid the secondary working fluid that is a low boiling point temperature fluid which will be get evaporated and that whatever the vapor of that secondary fluid is there that is expanded in the turbine and after the expansion the power generation will take place the shaft of the, the turbine will be connected to a generator the generate generate the electricity then after this one whatever the expansion of this uh, uh, vapor is there that will be condensed in a condenser and that will be uh, condensing whatever taking place that is by using the cooling tower how we have used in the thermal power plant the same way here also we are going to use then this condenser fluid is there that is recirculated to the evaporator boiler or evaporator boiler or a heater and like this in by using the solar power pond we are going to generate the electricity in this session and here the another one concentrating collectors we are going to use either we can use the flat collectors or curved collectors or concentrated collectors we are going to use the solar radiations what are there these are falling on these uh, collectors then this will receive the heat and the whatever the water is there inside that will be get heated and that is again transferred to the this heat exchanger or a butane boiler the butane is the one of the low boiling point fluid which is easily evaporates at a low temperature 
and this whatever the primary fluid is the water that is recirculated to this uh, uh, solar radiators or collectors then here it will be get heated and continuously it is recirculated by using circulating pump then butane vapor what is produced here that will be expanded in the butane turbine and after the expansion low temperature and low uh, pressure fluid is there that is will be condensed in the condenser and that is recirculated by using the butane feed pump and here also the same way the secondary fluid whatever we are going to use that will be recirculated in the same way as up in the thermal power plant in this way also we are going to generate the electricity by using this uh, solar thermal power plant thermal means heat energy directly we are going to use here for the conversion of the solar energy into the electricity but uh, in the previous case we are going to use the polar solar photovoltaic cells working this with the explanation we can take here solar thermal power generation systems use mirror or solar pond to collect the sunlight and produce steam by solar heat to drive the turbines for generating power this system generates power by rotating the turbines like thermal and nuclear power plants same uh, way we are going to use the turbines here nuclear power plant as well as the thermal power plant how we are going to use the turbines here also we will use the turbines mirror reflect and concentrate sunlight to receive and collect the solar energy and convert it into heat the mirrors what are there okay those will reflect the concentrating will be taking place by that one will, uh, the two will be reflected and uh, sunlight it will be received and collected uh, as a solar energy into a heat solar pond containing the salty water to receive solar rays and get heated to store heat and produce steam that whatever the salty water is there the, if the salty water is there it will have the capacity to hold the heat it will not leave the heat after receiving that one if the normal water is there if it is receives the heat then later it will be leaves that one that will be get whatever the water will, uh, heat will be transferred to the atmosphere but salty water it holds the heat it will be receives and stores in it and that heat we can use for the steam generation a turbine serves by steam produced from the solar heat energy and generated can be then used to to then use it to produce the electricity here the, uh, this whatever the solar steam produced by any of the method that will be used for running up the uh, turbine and later we are going to generate uh, run the generator to produce the electricity this method is difficult and not uh, efficient to produce the electrical power on large scale whatever this uh, second method is there solar thermal power plant that is not efficient and also it is a difficult Okay, here we have to convert that is the first the solar heat into a uh, primary fluid uh, heat energy and later it will be uh, used for generating the steam in the secondary fluid and that will be become say whatever the complex system and in the large scale we cannot use it this one but the solar PV cells we can use the large scale that one okay that how this the solar power plants either by using the solar PV cells or a solar heat energy utilization how we are going to use this uh, uh, solar energy for the power generation we have discussed and what are the advantages associated with this uh, solar power plant so leasing it that is uh, solar power power is the renewable source of energy means it will be get renew itself without any requirement that one okay it will be available for the longer duration that is a renewable energy and the secondly it will not liberate or pollute the any environment it will not uh, give, uh, releasing any gases okay that is a which are harmful for the human being or living things that's why it is uh, not an uh, polluting environment that's the second advantage associated this one okay then like this solar energy is freely available everywhere on the earth that can be used for the power generation that is the third one major these are the major advantages one major disadvantage associated with this one it is not a concentrated energy it is a distributed energy low heat content that one about uh, we know that one about 30 40 to 45 degrees celsius maximum temperature we are going to reach on the surface and that can be if you use for the heating of the any of the fluid okay that reaches about the 
the temperature around 60 to 70 degree Celsius. And that will be the system which is required for the collection of the solar energy that will be larger one. Okay, that larger surface area is required for this one, the generation of the uh, power from this solar system. That's why that is the major difficulty. And also the second major difficult whatever is the, it is a cyclical availability. Okay, this is a uh, varies with the day and night cycle and the season wise. Throughout the year in the season wise, there is a rainy, summer and winter season, the availability will be varies and also that is day cycle also, day and night cycle also, in the day only, morning to up to uh, afternoon, it will reach to the maximum, up to evening it will go on decreasing and like that, the cycle, uh, night it will not be available, like that cyclic availability is there and the distributed availability, that is the uh, whatever the major disadvantage due to that, uh, it will like, have the some of the uh, some reasons to not uh, consider for the energy generation but even though nowadays we are generating power using by this solar energy the one question i am going to ask here how much energy we are going to receive at the earth surface how much solar energy we are going to receive at the surface earth surface the students those are watching they can comment the how much it is there so that you can a better understanding you can get and what are the methods of solar power generation the methods are there those you can comment thank you for watching this video and subscribe comment and share my videos and watch the some other videos and for the particularly for the pv shells working i'll make the another video thank you and